Awesome. I have actually done a webinar where I missed the first 20 minutes. So what's going on, guys? Steve Crypto here, and it's just after 8.15. It's about 8.19 right now Eastern. And what, I'm, what we're going to go through tonight is we are going to be – I'm going to go over the quad fold and what's been working uh, here. You know, we, we've been doing a lot of one-on-ones and two-on-ones down here in Naples, Florida, and uh, they've been pretty effective, and it's been exciting. And what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to – I'm pretty much going to leave my uh, – I'll probably leave a lot of my um, personal story out of this. Uh, meaning my personal vacations. I don't know. What do you guys think? P type in the uh, type in the questions thing. If you guys think that I should just kind of do it exactly how I've been doing it, or do you think I should leave my personal stuff out? What do you guys want? I'll leave that up to you. I can find out. Um, three step setup. Okay. All right. So I got a three step setup. Um, exactly how you do it. All right, cool. I'll do it exactly how I do it. Okay, cool. Now here's here's something funny. Um, as you can see, oh, you can't see my screen. Let me show you my screen here. Can everybody see my screen? If you could, do me a giant favor and raise your hand if you can see my screen. I had half a hand. There we go. Okay, cool. Almost 100% again. Let's hear how you do it. You gotta be smart enough to plug our own stories. <laughs> oh, Jaron, that's funny, dude. <laughs> All right, so um, let me see if I can shrink this down a little bit. Whoops. As you can see, I'm basically uh, I couldn't figure out how to do this, so I'm just going old school with Paint, <laughs> Microsoft Paint. So let's. Move this up here. Okay, so cool. Basically, um, I'm going to use, uh, I was showing you Leon earlier today. And listen, if for some reason something comes out, uh, uh, text me. Somebody text me if, if it cuts out on me. Um, like I said, I'm dealing with a sinus issue right now, so I'm, I'm having a little bit of a difficult time uh, breathing. So <laughs> let's, um, let's get rid of this. I need this here. Oh, that's kind of funny. Uh, so anyway, so basically what I'll do is uh, I did I actually did this for Yuliana. Let me see how big these are. Great. I did this for Yuliana earlier, and I did it basically I was prospecting or I was, I was presenting to Diego. So that's what we're going to do tonight. I remembered basically all of his answers. So before I pull out this sheet, I typically have my pen in my hand. I have my application in my pocket or in a folder either sitting up against my chair or I have the or I'll have a um, I'll have an application in the folder in the chair next to me so they can't see it I don't want them to see the application and I don't mind if they see a little bit of of, uh, of the quad fold um, but that's not the point the point is not for them to see it yet because I want to talk to them first okay so um, basically what I'll do is uh, I'll say hey man so uh, you know I appreciate you coming by and, um, you know, Juliana told me that you're a barber. And he says, yes. And I said, great. You know, how long have you been doing that? And he says, uh, professionally, I've been doing it for about two years now. And I said, that's cool, man. Do you like what you're doing? And he says, you know what? I like what I do. I don't like where I work. I'm like, that's cool. I said, so I'm curious. And I said, this is just a really random, weird question. You know, if, if, you, uh, if money wasn't an issue, would you still cut hair for free? And he says, no. I said, oh, well, that's cool. I said, you know, most people wouldn't. I said, you know, as far as jobs go, you know, people have different opinions on what they want to do. I said, so what would you do if you could do anything you want to do and money was no object? And um, he says, you know what? I think I would be fishing all the time. I'm like, that's awesome. And, and the cool thing is, is I like fishing. So I said, man, that's awesome. I said, I just came back from the Dominican Republic uh, last Friday, and um, I, was, I was actually – able to check off a bucket list item of mine, and I caught a um, probably about a 40-pound Dorado, a big bull dolphin. I said, it was pretty awesome. I said, so do you like traveling? Okay, now I'm getting into the quad fold. So I said, do you like traveling? He said, yeah. I said, that's cool. I said, when's the last time you went somewhere? And he's like, oh, I went to New York a long time ago. I said, cool. 
I said, we're getting ready to go to the uh, to Universal Studios on Thursday. I said, in fact, it's this trip right here. Okay. So I now I pull out the quad fold and, and I show it exactly like it is here, except for it's facing them. And what I'll do is I'll take and I'll I um let me get a bigger brush here. Hang on. Uh, that should work. Um, so what I'll do is I will um, I'll say so this is the this is the Gaylord Palms down here in, in, in Orlando, Florida. This guy right here. This is the one we're going to be talking about. And uh, basically, the Gaylord Palms is actually I can't remember if it's a four or a five star resort. And uh, this is about three fifty or, or give or take ten bucks or something like that. It's around three fifty a night uh, to stay at this place. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I said I've actually stayed there once so big <laughs> that I actually got lost in it. And I say the cool thing about this is, you know, don't worry about the numbers. I'm going to go over those in a second. This also includes a park opera ticket for each person that goes and breakfast every morning. Oh, and I don't know about you, but I don't like I don't like driving in traffic. So this works out actually perfect for me because this actually gives you transportation to 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 and from the parks from your hotel to the park so you basically show up and um, they take care of everything for you now what's awesome is you know you told me that now <clears throat> excuse me um, I don't know if you have you ever been to Universal Studios before and most people down here will say yes I'll say no and, and I'll make a joke out of this I'll say man it's expensive right and they go yeah and I'll say you know what's really awesome is this right here for three hundred and seventy eight dollars for three seventy eight and I'm, I actually write this out. I write it out over here, right next to the uh, to the trip, so they can see it right next to it. I'll say for three hundred and seventy eight dollars, you know, you, two people can go to the Gaylord Palms Resort, uh, stay there for four days, get two tickets to to Universal Studios, uh, get breakfast every morning, and they get transportation for three hundred seventy eight dollars. Now, what's cool is you can actually take fifty bucks off this right now, and actually, actually, three seventy eight is amazing. But isn't 328 even better? And they say yes. I say awesome. You know, I you know, and then I, I skip right here and I say, you know, have you ever been to New York? And some people say yes, some people say no. And I say, look, I said I don't know a whole lot about New York. It's been a long time since I've been there. However, I do know that the taxes are heavy, um, so I know it's kind of expensive to go. You know, have you ever stayed at the at the Parker Meridian? And uh, most people know what it is if you know anything about New York. And I'll say, you know, the last time I checked, and this is a true story. I was doing a travel party, and my buddy Gene uh, Dornival, you guys know who he is, um, he looked it up for me, and it was six hundred and eighty some dollars a night to stay at the Parker Meridian. And I said, um, I said, so as you can see, these numbers, these price points right here, they're exactly the same as the ones above. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get too much into the prices. I said, but however, what this includes is this gets you an excursion around the Statue of Liberty. It includes lunch on that cruise, and you get breakfast every day. And this particular one includes a Broadway show, uh, and I think it's either Chicago or Jersey Boys that are playing right now. So again, this is three hundred twenty-eight dollars. We take fifty bucks right off, and it's three hundred twenty-eight bucks for two people. And you're staying at a six hundred plus dollar a night resort or hotel uh, for that three hundred twenty-eight dollars for two people. Um, that is absolutely outrageous. Now this is the point where they typically look at like look at me like I'm crazy, and then I'll, I'll, I won't I I don't respond to looks just so you know. I'll say, have you ever been on a cruise? Um, believe it or not, a lot of Floridians have not. So I'll say, you know, this is a this is actually a week cruise that we did last year. Uh, it's uh, right out of either Fort Lauderdale or Miami. I can't remember which one it was. But if you take a look at these numbers right here, this is two nineteen, which is a crazy deal for a cruise. We can actually take $175 off right here, and your first person is actually $44. Bucks. So you're going to go on this cruise for two people, and it's going to be $265, somewhere in there. It's like $263 for two people. And I'm going to tell you right now, that $263 is actually less than what I pay at my house for groceries each week. So I had actually come out ahead, and it includes all my food and all the fun while we're on the ship. So... That's an amazing, amazing deal. This is just absolutely ridiculous. This drives me bonkers. Um, I, let's see right here. Top right-hand corner up here. Um, you know what? I'm terrified of sharks. You'll probably never see me on this one right here. However, uh, here it's a great deal. 
And this, from what I understand, includes the dives as well. So that's 759 in Pensacola at the Hilton Pensacola Beach Resort, which is outstanding. It's 759 Take 400 bucks off. The person you're basically going to go down there. You're going to go up there for like eleven hundred dollars, and you're going to get you're going to get um, dive trips. You have and, and you also have your stay at the uh, uh, the Hilton Pensacola Beach Hotel. Um, where are we here? I'm not a big skier. Uh, I don't like anything colder than sixty degrees. However, um, the big deal here, anybody, if you like skiing, now if people like skiing, you've got to harp on this part. If you look, lift tickets are included. Now I have not been skiing before. However, I understand the tickets are anywhere from $75 to $125 dollars per person. Each day you're there. So if you take a look at this, if we're there for six days and we're skiing all six days, you're actually getting a better deal if you were just paying for your tickets. But you're not just getting your tickets. You're also staying at the Angel Fire Resort. That is absolutely outstanding. Have you ever been to Vegas? And they say – some people say yes. Some people say no. Great. Um, I've actually stayed at the Palazzo. The Palazzo is around $350 and up per night because all the rooms are between 1,100 and 1,300 square feet. Uh, this place is actually pretty cool. Uh, they actually have the gondolas. Uh, you know what? The, the, and I always explain to them what it is. Uh, it's the boats that go, you know, the, over in Italy where they're, you know, the guy in the, in the white and striped, white and black striped shirts. You know, they're they're seeing an Italian. They're they're um, uh, basically canoeing through the waters of Italy, and they go, oh yeah, or Rome, or wherever it is. And they go, oh, yeah, and I say, yeah, well, they have one of those that goes right through the resort. And I and it depends on who I'm talking to, guys. Sometimes I, I go back up here. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll go to Guatemala and I'll talk about uh, the, the bottle schools. It depends on who I'm speaking to. Sometimes I talk about Dubai. Um, but basically what I'll end up saying here is I'll say, look, I can literally go through trips all day long because we have uh, – and this is where I write this – we have 11,000 trips that are supposed to come out this year. Next year is forecast to have 25,000 trips, and the year after that, we are forecast to have 50,000 trips. So as you can see, this is pretty amazing. Now, what most people say at this point in time is like, this is crazy. I like this. This is way too good to be true. Now, and and I'll, I'll tell them, I get it. You know, when I first looked at this, I completely got that. You know, I thought to myself, this is way too good to be true. There's got to be some kind of a catch. And don't worry, I'm going to show you the catch in just a second here. So I'm curious, do you have a Costco or a Sam's or a BJ's card? And most people do, and then we talk about um, – so if it's Costco, I'll say, cool, you know, why did you, why did you get your Costco card? And they say, well, you know, I like buying in bulk and I get better deals. And I'll say, see, that's exactly what we do here, and I circle this entire thing. That's exactly what we do here with our trips. You see, we have extensive buying power, seven, several hundred thousand uh, members. So what our people do, our representatives do, they go to each one of these resorts to say, look, this, this is what we have. We're going to come to your resort. What can you do for us? And if we like what they have, then we're going to show up at the resort and we're going to frequent it. And that's how we get such amazingly great deals. You see, here's the cool thing. They are so confident about what they do here is we have what's called a dream trip promise. So if you book one of these dream trips – oops, hang on. can't do two things at once. If you book one of these dream trips and you find it cheaper, guess what? We're going to give you a 100% refund, and we're going to send you on the trip for free. That is two of the reasons why we have won the World's Travel Awards for the last four years in a row. And, I, and I'm not going to say the company is saying this, but I'm going to go ahead and guarantee that we're going to hit 2016 as well. Because we are just way too good. The value is too much. So let's go over here to the catch. So first things first, I already know that you, you are, you've already gone right here. So let's just call out the elephant in the room. My mouse will work for me. <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you right now how these numbers are going to be absolutely irrelevant. So don't worry about that. I'm not going to ignore them. But I am going to come back to those. So um, – I will say this: You are an incredibly fortunate person that your per, uh, uh, that Juliana has invited you to see this because without somebody like Juliana or myself, you cannot even think about going on these trips. You don't even get privy enough to see them on your own website. See, it's a private membership, and you have to be invited to it. So you should thank her right now. Just look at her and say thank you. So that's pretty cool. Um, the second thing I want you to understand is we are hosted. You see, have you ever had a bad hotel experience? 
And some people will say yes, some people they say no. If they say no, no big deal. I give them my experience. I say, you know what, I have. And uh, when you go up to the front desk with an issue, a lot of times, and I'm a really nice guy, a lot of times they kind of don't care who you are. And that's unfortunate. It's just the way it is. You know, society, customer service is kind of getting a little shaky. So I get that. But with hosted travel, I don't have to worry about that anymore because now I have my own personal assistant that is traveling along with us. You see, when I went down to Cabo San Lucas, by the way, that was our first, very first dream trip. You see, here's a neat thing. Um, back in 2013, um, we had just taken a severe beating from the economy. So basically, we stopped traveling. I mean, <laughs> we um, about 2010 is about when uh, our personal family got hit real hard. And, uh, you know, the first thing that goes is basically all the fun stuff. So we stopped traveling. And, you know, when I saw this, it, it allowed us to take some more trips. So what, what Danielle and I did was I said, you know, there's a trip down to Cabo San Lucas. Let's, let's book it and take the boys down because they had never been out of the country before. So let's, let's, uh, let's go all out on this. So we went down, and, and, and uh, I don't know if you've ever flown into Mexico before, um, but it was a 14, almost 15-hour flight for my family and I. So you can imagine – even though that we're coming into the Dreams Los Cabos Resort in Cabo San Lucas, we were beat and exhausted. And the last thing I want to do is stand in lines at the airport uh, waiting for a bus. You know what the cool thing was? Because of our VIP travel club, I was picked up at the airport by our own, um, by our own company and taken straight to the airport. Um, so we didn't have to worry about anything. And then I got to the uh, resort, and I'm standing there, and I see all these people in line waiting to check in. And I'm just like, man, I just want to put my feet up. I want to get one of those frozen drinks with the umbrellas in it, sit on the beach, and just chill. So, like, you can, you can kind of get that, you know, not only am I grumpy and I'm holding the grumps, my boys, ha I've had enough. They've been on a plane for 14, 15 hours. And uh, so Danielle and I were doing everything we possibly could. And all of a sudden, I hear out of the, out of the right side of my ear, I hear, uh, excuse me, Mr. Krivda. And I turn around, and here's Marquita, this girl that I met on Facebook, who had met us way before to get to know us. So she knew when we showed up at the resort who we were. And she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, uh, I'm checking, and we just got here. And she's like, why are you doing that? Come over here. And, I'm, and I didn't want to lose my place in line. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, we already have you checked in. You're checked in and everything. We have your room set up. They're basically waiting for you just to get here. We have a welcome party right over here over my left-hand shoulder. In fact, leave your bags there. <coughs> Excuse me. Leave your bags there. They'll be up in your room waiting for you. Don't worry about a thing. We have everything taken care of for you. Just have fun. And I was like, wow, this is great. And uh, I said, you know, listen. I have a question for you. She's like, what's that? And I said, look, I know that we have a big room. I get that. I haven't been on a vacation with my wife since we conceived my youngest son. <laughs> Is there any possible way that we can get, I don't care if I have to move to a different room to where there's like a door between us, like a wall and a door. And she's like, you know what? I, I, I take the hint. Let me see what I can figure out. So we go up to the room, right? And it is spectacular. There is marble on the walls. There's marble on the floors. There's a gigantic oversized king bed with a with a um, a canopy over top of it. The closet was as like it's like at that time at the house we were living in. The closet was almost as big as our bedroom. It was just huge. So I was a little embarrassed when I was asking for more. So as I'm sitting there feeling guilty, my phone rings and she says, uh, "She's like, hey, it's it's Marquita." And I was like, "You know what? Don't worry about it. We're good." And she's like, "No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay." Check the room out next to you. You know, walk through the adjoining door and see if that's okay for your boys. And I walk in, and I know what the room was because I was looking at them online uh, before we left. It was 660 square feet with two queen beds, had the canopy, you know, whatever those things are that, that drape over the top of the bed, walk-in kitchen, huge bathroom, and they had their own private balcony. And I'm like, this is amazing. And I said, so, you know, being a numbers guy – I'm thinking to myself, which, I'm thinking a thousand bucks, and I go, so uh, I'm going to ask the dreaded question, what's this going to set me back? And she's like, oh, don't worry about it, we got you taken care of. 
And I was like, oh, no, I know you guys got me a good deal, but what does that mean? What, you know, what's it going to cost? And she's like, no, we got it comped. And I said, how does that happen? Look, I grew up in Jersey. That kind of stuff doesn't happen. Tell me how it's what do you What do you mean? And she says, Steve, you have to understand something. We are a company with mega buying power. We come to this resort. See, if Steve walks up to the front desk, they're going to hand you a bill. When we walk up to the front desk, they bend over backwards to make sure that we are happy. You're welcome. <laughs> so I was like, fantastic. So that trip right there, we were down there for six days. It cost for my family, all-inclusive rest, all-inclusive five-star dreams, dream, dreams, those cabos was 900 bucks for the four of us to spend six days at that resort. There was a fishing trip included and an excursion out to Land's End. So that's what hosted travel means. Um, the extras, I've already told you, they have excursions. They have all kinds of crazy stuff on here. I explained that to you on the other page. Uh, don't worry, I'm not skipping this guy. I'm going to come back to that in a second. So see, here's a neat thing. I'm going to start showing you how you can start traveling for free. Okay, so this right here is a standard, but when you become a gold today and you start referring people, when you refer a standard member, you get 50 points. When you refer a gold member, you're going to get 100 points. When you refer a, a platinum member, you're going to get 200 points. Now, this isn't like Delta or American Airlines where one uh, 80,000 points uh, is equal to a soda on the plane. This is easy. This is super easy math. This is one point equals $1. Make that work. Super easy. So 50 points is 50 bucks, 100 points, 100 bucks, 200 points, 200 bucks. Super easy. That's the first way. And what they do is they take this right here and they put it right into your Dream Trips piggy bank. Pretty awesome. So you can start using on these guys back here. Remember all these points we were looking at? 50, 150, 200. You're actually starting to accumulate those. And I'm not even telling you the easiest way yet. Starting to accumulate to where you can start using more Dream Trip points. Uh, do you like shopping? Oh, awesome. Cool. Well, um, you know, I love, I have a love-hate relationship with Walmart. So basically, this is what we have. We have thousands of stores on here. We have from Walmart to Macy's to Best Buy, Home Depot, Lowe's. Almost anything you can think of is probably going to be on here. And this is what happens. You can see this little computer screen right here I made on the left. Well, basically what happens is here is you want to go to Walmart.com. You click on it. It takes you over to their website. And it keeps you linked. So you're on Walmart.com, and what happens is anywhere from 1% to 20% of your purchase is going to come back in travel dollars that you can use to travel with. Okay, so that's the second way that you're going to be able to start traveling for it. And, 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 and we're at least going to give you incredible discounts. We're going to make it less for you, if not free. So give me a few minutes here. Uh, are you a big toilet paper fan? Yeah? Well, awesome. You know, you can go to Walmart.com and buy all your toiletries, your toilet paper, paper towels, and all that kind of great stuff from there. If you click on pick up in store, they'll bag it for you, and all you have to do is pick it up. You know, if you want more travel dollars, just buy more toilet paper. All right, so here we are down here at the app. Hold on. That question's coming in. Oh. <laughs> so here we are down at the app, and I ask people, I say, you know, do you have Facebook? And they go, yeah, I have Facebook. And I say, cool. If they don't have Facebook, I say, do you know what Facebook is? Um, so basically what we do here, and this is getting ready to roll out to the public. And when this rolls out to the public, what they're going to do is they're going to have it to where when you upload, um, you know, your resort pictures, your sign pictures, you do reviews on re re resorts, they're actually going to give you more dream trip dollars that you can use towards more dream trips. We're also um, included in this app. We are also going to have, it's called local dining. I believe it's called local dining. And basically how that works is this. Um, right now it's all over Miami. There's 70 to 80 different places all over Miami right now. And you're going to get anywhere from 10 to 50% of your meal. So if you have a $100 meal and you're going to get 30% back, you're going to get 30 dream trip points paid back to you just because, just because, and they're going to take it and they're going to put it in your travel piggy bank. And you can see our piggy bank, it is getting quite full right now. Well, Chris is saying the scribble on the lower left looks questionable from here. 
All right, I'm going to try to scroll a little bit. Hopefully you can see that now. Um, so here's a point where I say, you know, earlier you had mentioned to me that you went to New York. Do you remember how you booked it? And now most people use Travelocity, Expedia, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so if they have a hard time remembering, I just name Expedia, Travelocity, Orbitz, Hotels.com. I'll say you you know that those are called those are called booking engines. Now a booking engine is basically just a place where you can go online and book your stuff. Well, we have our own. It's called Rovia. Now the cool thing about Rovia is we own it. Okay, and every time that you use Rovia on your website, you're going to get paid back in commissions because you know that Expedia, Travelocity, all those guys they don't they don't give you great discounts for free or they don't give you good prices for free. Somebody's getting paid. See. Wouldn't you rather get paid over top of paying extra money to Expedia? Well, that's exactly what they do here. Every time that you book, guess what? You get paid back in travel dollars. Okay? We are filling our piggy bank even more. Now, the cool thing is, is this, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to just going to be. I'm just going to be authentic with you. Being my background as a very skeptical person, I said, you know, it's great to have my own booking engine, but are the rates any good? I mean, come on, you know, because if the rates are no good, then why do I care? And what they did was they came out with a, a what's called the um, they came out with a guarantee of 150 percent. If you book something and find it less, they're going to give you 150 percent of the difference. So if it's 20 dollars difference, guess what? You get 30 bucks back, and, and guess what? They're going to put it up here in your travel piggy bank, and so you can travel for even more. Did you know that there are certain times of the of the week? I think there's like a 30 second window at Tuesday at 12:59 and 20 seconds. You can actually get good rates on your um on your flights, and that's usually a joke. I'll say you know, basically flight flights do this. Their prices go up and down, up and down. Well, with rate shrinking, you don't have to worry about that anymore. How this works is this: you book it say today, right? and you're going to use it in September. Well, if that price goes down between now and then, you get a cool little nifty email saying, hey, congratulations, you got a refund because the price dropped on your car, your flight, your hotel, or whatever you book through your own personal booking engine, here's the refund, congratulations, I hope you're having a great day. That's pretty amazing, right? I mean, I don't know anybody that does that. And by the way, this is trademarked to us, so you should not see that anywhere else unless somebody stole it. Um, rewards, we already talked about that, is all these scribble scrabbles all the way up here. So I'm sure, I'm hoping, and I'm praying that you paid attention to everything that I said and you weren't focused up here on the numbers because I'm going to show you right now how the numbers are absolutely irrelevant. So check this out. This $200 is your money. Yes? They say yes. I say great. What that does is that comes up to the building, our building out in Plano, Texas. And uh, legally, they have to have a transaction when something, when goods of services are traded. What they do is your money goes up to the company, and guess what? You're not even ready for this. Boom. They give it right back to you in Dream Trip points. Remember these amazing trips back here? This 200 points right here to go down to um, Maribel Resort in Nuevo Verde. Verde. Um, Guess what? You have now have 200 points to go down there. You can use those the second that you come in as a gold member. Here's something cool. People say, oh, yeah, you got me. You know, here's the gotcha, 50 bucks a month. Well, check it out. And I hope you guys can still see this. I usually use a, a ballpoint pen. It's going to go up to the building and come into the company, and boom, it's going to come right back down to you in the Dream Trips in your dream trips piggy bank or the cloud or whatever you want to call it. So basically this is what this this club is doing. It's forcing you to take a vacation. I'm sorry to say, but in the next 12 months it's probably a good idea to take a vacation. Now what you're thinking is this. Most people say this. They say, well this is ridiculous. How can the company make any money if that's what they're doing? Okay? What I want you guys to understand is I'm debunking any of their any of their um, objections before we get to them. Okay, so when they say when, when I say you know the company, how does the company even make any money? I'm going to say this: Do you think Expedia made any money last year? You think Travelocity made any money last year? And they're going to be like, yeah. I'll say this is an eight trillion dollar business uh, industry. This booking engine right here is where their money comes from. The people that are ridiculously crazy and they decide not to use their dream trip points, 
those are the ones that are just basically giving money to the company. However, there is such immense value in here that 50 bucks a month, I would literally pay the privilege for it. So let's go over here. Let's go over here to this next page just so you can see the numbers are a little bit bigger and they're easier to see. Because I don't want, I, I don't, I would never want you to think that I hid anything from you. So here's, here's this guy right here. This is the standard, uh, standard um, uh, membership. If you want to do this, cool. Take advantage of the 11,000 trips. Totally awesome. And uh, have fun. This is why I did gold. I started off with gold. This is where a lot of people do. Um, but I'm going to show you some really amazing things here in a second. I already told you about the booking engine, the rate shrinker, the online mall. Do you have a personal assistant, by the way? No? Yeah, most people don't. I do now, though. See, our personal concierge, which is 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, has all kinds of cool stuff that you can do. You can come in here and you can use them for a wake-up call service. You can get traffic um, uh, uh, updates on where you're going to go. You can, If you feel like calling up and saying, hey, I want to know where the best Bloody Marys are in Naples, Florida. They're going to they're gonna find out for you. If you need a reservation at, at an exclusive restaurant where they won't even look at you for walking in, you have your concierge service call them up. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if we are not there already, we are soon to be a billion-dollar company. Isn't it better for a billion-dollar company to negotiate on your behalf over you? Every single time it's like that. Um, do you like going out to eat or going to the movie theater or shopping at all? Well, we have a little thing called My Deals. My Deals has every kind of different discounts that I can even fathom in my own brain right now. I have seen 50% off Men's Warehouse. I've seen buy one, get one free Papa John's. I've seen free fried pickles at Hurricane Grill. I've seen 10 to 30% off of Regal Cinemas. I've seen all kinds of cool stuff. And the neat thing about it is it's just added value to an already almost free membership for you anyways. So what they did was they're all they're doing here is they are taking this already amazing club and making it more powerful and more valuable just for you. And if you really want to go crazy, if you really want to lose your mind right now, if you refer four people, like it says here, they make this go away. So you have a free membership. And then I flip back to this page. I'll say, you remember this guy right here? Hold on. So you remember this guy right here? Or wait, this guy right here for 50 bucks a month? They're still going to fund you $50 because here's the thing. We just had our 10-year anniversary back in December of 2016 this year. And what they found out that almost almost 90% of the people that have ever gone on a dream trip have never left in 10 years. Almost <coughs> excuse me, almost 90% of the people that have gone on one of these trips have never left. You know what that tells me? That we are extraordinary, that we are never going to be beat. Sorry, I get a little excited right here. So that's pretty amazing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna briefly go over platinum, tell you why I did it. If it's for you, totally awesome. Uh, if you see the value that I see, then you are definitely gonna go with platinum. Um, I like coming in and checking in early. I don't like coming in at four o'clock and missing half my day, almost a full day of vacation. I like coming in around 10 o'clock. And getting a full extra day and I also like leaving around four o'clock in the afternoon so I actually get an extended trip my day before and a day after um, we also get dream trips that nobody else sees we are pr uh, preferred customers in an already VIP we also get to add 20% more so if you come back over here and say you're going to take this trip to Dubai instead of paying instead of taking $600 off or 600 points off you actually can take 720 points off that Boom is, is that's right there. We also have emergency evacuation services. So if you are down, say, in South Africa, which is this is a real story. Um, we actually had some guys go down there on a dream trip, and they traveled off path, decided to eat uh, what the locals gave them, and they got some wicked virus in their belly. I don't know if they're going to die or not. Um, all I know is they needed to get out of that country immediately. So – they got flown from South Africa all the way back to Miami, and this we have up to twenty-five thousand dollars to use. I think it's more, but I'll stick at twenty-five because that's that's pretty empty. Um, they got flown back to Miami General for nothing, for nothing. You see, we don't think about getting hurt on vacation; we just think about having fun. Imagine if you twisted your ankle when you were skiing, or you're walking on the beach and you fell, and you, or, or you got stung by a jellyfish, or stung worse by a stingray. 
So we don't think about that kind of stuff because we're always in fun mode. So it's just extra precautions, extra value for you. Um, do you have identity theft protection? Yeah, man, I didn't either until I became a platinum. So that's pretty cool. It's just a little extra peace of mind. Um, we also have what's called roadside assistance. Do you have roadside assistance? No, oh, you're paying for it? Oh, cool. See, I used to pay for it as well. Now I don't have to anymore because we have roadside assistance included platinum. Now this is a big one. The reason I'm saving this guy right here for last is because I don't know if you've ever been to a walk-in clinic before, but if you're not sick when you walk in, you are when you leave because there's a petri dish of stuff going all over the place. Um, plus, you know that $35 copay that you pay and then you get a $250 bill like three weeks later? Yeah, you see, I don't have to worry about that anymore because if I'm going to go to the walk-in clinic, all I do is call up Teladoc and I say, hey, this is Steve Crypto. This is my identification number. I'm sick. And what they'll do is they'll say, no problem, Mr. Crypto. We're going to have a doctor call you back. And this is a real thing. I had a doctor call me back. I had something crazy going on with my sinuses about six months ago. And uh, I got diagnosed over the phone. I never had to pay for a thing except for my $15 prescription. Within, uh, it was a total 30-minute diagnosis to prescription call. She says, um, Mr. Crypt, it sounds like you have a sinus infection. Uh, check your email within the next few minutes, and you should have your prescription ready to be picked up. And she was not kidding. Within a few minutes, it was right in my email box. So being that I'm married and I've got two little boys who uh, go to school and they bring home all kinds of crazy stuff from their school, Teladoc is wicked, wicked important for me. And from what I understand, it's like if you were to pay for that separately, it'd be 40 to 50 bucks. So if I look at this for $30 a, a month, look at that for 40 bucks a month, and I look at that for 20 or $30 a month, I am crushing this this is almost free just from the extra stuff so if you decide to go platinum kudos for you if if, if you don't see the value there uh, we'll stick with gold so after what I just explained to you I'm curious which one makes more sense to you and then I just be quiet let them think let them say let them speak and most people will say gold I do have probably 30 to 40 percent will say platinum I'll say great let's do this I'm going to go ahead and put a star right here for you. And I, I, want, to, I want to tell you, you know, um, just real quick, and this next part is completely optional, but I always want to make sure that it's, it's, you're aware of it because I don't want you to come beat me up later. Back when, when we were having our financial woes and we were stopping our vacations, that was take, not taking a vacation was the least of our problems. You see, I worked for construction. I worked in, uh, for my father-in-law in concrete masonry down here in Naples. And uh, we made a killing. I mean, we're in Florida, for crying out loud. Real estate and construction, you really couldn't do wrong. And we are making a lot of money. Unfortunately, um, around we almost made it through the recession around 2010, about halfway through, right before my second child was born, um, we got hammered. And this is, and I'm, this is a not a feel sorry for Steve thing, but we got beat up. <laughs> and we lost everything. You see, I grew up with money. I always had money. So, like, when I watched my bank account go to zero and then finally we end up having to give our house back to the bank, um, I knew that I had to make a change. And I was working 50 to 60 hours a week. We, we had zero work. And I'm thinking to myself, I've got to get a second job. Where the heck am I going to find the time? I don't want to spend any more time away from the boys, especially my wife, who we were working together, but we never saw each other because we were working so hard. So when this came into my lap, a few years later of struggling and just trying to figure out what we're going to do, I saw two things here. One, I can treat my family to the vacations that they deserve instead of going to the Red Roof Inn or to that $20, you know, the one that says in on it. Instead of going somewhere like that, I can actually treat my, my family to a four or five star resort on a two to three star budget. And I figured if I can make two to 300 bucks a month, just a couple of hundred dollars, I can stop the hemorrhaging. So that's what I did. So this next part, like I said before, is completely optional. If you want to do this, awesome. If not, honestly, it is seriously no big deal. But check this out. I love living in the United States. I really do. I like it here. I think the people are fairly cool. Uh, maybe it's just where I live. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a crazy person. But the one thing that I have a problem with right now in our United States is our tax system is a disaster. It's just my opinion. I'm not going to go into any politics, um, but I just think it's ridiculous that the more money you make, the more percentage you have to put into the system. Um, I think that just I just think that's crazy. Um, so 
the cool thing about this, what I'm about to show you right now is a business. This is your business. You are going to own this business. Do you remember my father-in-law I talked about? Well, his overhead is just slightly under a million dollars a year. This right here, you pay $90 or $100 one time. By the way, it is a, a tax deduction because it is your business. And you own your own business. They're going to set everything up for you. Because people always tell me, they're like, Steve, I don't know if I can run a business. This, what I'm going to show you, we have a step-by-step -step system from day one until as far as you want to go. So the step-by-step -step system is a piece of cake. Now, in order to keep your everything going, it's a measly $15 a month. So for $15 a month, not only do you get to have all the tools to succeed, but you also get to hire people like myself who's going to come out here and help you do this. Okay. Now, you said you were 25 years old. Well, check this out. 25 years old, it's 26 bucks instead of 99 and $7 a month. So for $7 a month, about a large coffee from Starbucks or a large frappe, frappe mocha wachuchino, um, you can actually have your own business. Oh, and by the way, earlier, remember we were talking about the, these four right here? Well, when people do the same thing with you here, Boom, it's gone. So who cares what you're paying? Because you get a free business. Your business with unlimited income, which I'm going to show you in a second here, is going to be overhead free. So check this out. I'm going to show you just a couple of quick ways to make money because we don't have enough time to go in all the different ways. So this is basically how it works. Three golds equals 100 bucks. Piece of cake, super easy math. Three platinums equals approximately 350. Piece of cake, super easy to understand. When Here's the thing. When you become, because you had mentioned gold, when you become a gold today, you're going to go right down here in this bucket with Juliana because she's your friend, and you're going to be working with her. Juliana is also filling this bucket. I am also filling this bucket. Her boyfriend, well, I guess I'm talking to you, Diego, but other people <laughs> on her team are also filling that bucket. And every time that somebody decides to take this amazing journey with us, we fill these buckets. Now, here's the thing. The magic number here is 30. I'm going to put a 30 on each side so you can see, so you don't think I'm trying to trick you. The magic number here is 30. Now, earlier, I had mentioned to you that, let me make sure this is self-explanatory that I kind of like these numbers at the top and I kind of don't like the numbers at the top. This to me is work. This is work. This is not why I do this. If I wanted to work, I would, I would have kept my job. This is why I do this. This magic number right here, this 30 and 30, will bring in approximately $600 a month, five to 600 bucks a month. Now this is what some, most people have no idea what this is. This is called reoccurring income. This money comes in whether you wake up, go to the barbershop, go to the beach, or whatever the heck you decide to do. See, that's why I'm doing this. Why am I sitting with you right now? Why am I continuing to do what I'm doing? Is because my goals are bigger. I want my bucket overflowing with people that we have helped take amazing vacations. You see, the bigger and the more filled up this bucket gets, the bigger these numbers get here. As these numbers get bigger, you get more and more comfortable, and all that means is you've helped more and more people take amazing vacations. You see, that's why I do what I do. You see, back in February of 2015, because of this concept, I've been able to walk away from my job and hang out with my kids. You see, this morning, instead of dropping the kids off at daycare where they don't want to be, I, I, I went to camp with them and hung out with them. I hung out with them at camp today. Like, that's what I did this morning. And then I had to go home and make a call, and then I went out again, hung out with my buddy Diego. I, well, I guess I'm talking to Diego, aren't I? I hung out with my friend. I came home for a little bit, and I ate lunch. You see, my life is completely different right now. The reason I'm doing what I'm doing here is because there are way too many people that need help either with an income or they need to get their butts out and see God's green earth. You see, that's why we're doing what we're doing here. So here's a question for you. You had mentioned earlier that you wanted to do gold, so we're going to sign you up for a gold today. Did you also want to do the rep, or are you just going to do the gold membership all by itself? Now, guys, this is where it's important. 
as I'm explaining all of this, the application comes out folded underneath my arm. I show them the income disclosure sheet. So I had to back up before I, I gave them the uh, membership versus representative. So I tell them, this is why I do this. Um, this is why I'm helping my people. I'm helping Diego. I'm helping Juliana. I'm helping the people on my team because I want them to do what I'm doing. I want them to feel what freedom feels like. I want them to feel the non-stress of finance. See, money's not evil at all. It just creates whatever you want it to create. When you don't have it, it sucks. When you have it, it's amazing. It would be great to be amazing. Now, I want you to understand something, and I need you to pay very close attention to this. And I lean into them, and I look them square in the eyes, and I say, look, if you think this is get rich quick, then we are, we are stopping this conversation immediately. We'll, we'll put you in as a gold member. I'll take this, this, this money part of it, and we'll never talk about it again. However, this is a three- to five-year plan. You stick with us and do the numbers and tweak and fine-tune what you're doing and let us help you. This is not a get-rich-quick. However, this is get incredibly wealthy in three to five years. And I'm, and I'm, pointing, at the, I'm pointing at the income disclosure sheet. Now, at this point in time, um, as, I put, as I'm looking at the income disclosure sheet, <clears throat> I'll say, look, there's all kinds of numbers on here. I understand that $2 million at the bottom left-hand corner is really hard to look at. It doesn't seem real. But let me ask you a question. I'm going to ask you the same as that question that was asked me. If it took you 7 to 10 years to make almost $2 million a year, would you do it? And the answer is always yes. <clears throat> and I said, look, I know that's really hard to wrap your head around, even though that you said yes. If it took you seven to ten years to make $200,000 a year, would you do it? And they say, yes. I'll say, great. This part sounds like an absolute no-brainer no to you. So are we hooking you up with the gold membership by itself? Or are we – now, this is where I take the application – I flip over the income disclosure sheet. I, I take their first name. If I, if I don't know how to spell the last name, I take their first name. I write it in, and I look up, and I say, how do you spell your last name? I put their last name in, and I slide it over to them, and I say, are you doing the gold membership by itself, or are you also going to – do you also want to create an income and take advantage of some really cool tax advantages as well and do the rep as well? So is it gold by itself or gold plus rep? And then they'd be completely quiet and let them sit there. That's it. That's the whole thing. I know it went a little bit longer. Um, it's usually about a half hour is about how long it takes me. Um, but that's pretty much it. When you slide over the application, you have to, have to, have to slide the application over. Because I, I know in the past I did not have applications on me. I know that all I can do it on my phone. I can pull up the app, you know, with my website. Before we had the Dream Trips app, um, I knew that I could do that, or I could get, you know, call them later at home or whatever. You have to have the application in your hand and slide it to them with a pen, so they can start filling it out. And you already put their name on it, so it's almost like an obligation because they've already made their decision. That silence that they give you, I've got to think about it, let me get back with you, uh, can you show me more later, blah, 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 blah. Those are stall tactics to find reasons of not to do this. And when you really think about it, what I just explained to you is a no-brainer. <coughs> you should do this. You should be here. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Does anybody have any questions? I don't know. How many, how many people we have in here? Oh, there's a whole bunch of people in here. What's up, guys? And this is recorded, by the way. No questions? Not one? All right. Let's see. There we go, I think. I wish I could. Why can't I see these? Oh, there we go. There we go. 
Awesome. I can't see anyone saying no to that. Great. <laughs> Crazy, Garen. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I mean, um, yeah. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys are so awesome. Cool. Um, so here's one of the, uh, let's see, how do you tell about the dream trips without being on one? Like your story about the host. Uh, use my story, Trey. My buddy Steve went down to Dreams Los Cabos, and let me tell you what happened with him. It's crazy. I can't wait to go here and just point out one of the dream trips. That's a great question. That's a great question. You'll have one. Are you going? Uh, are you going on the cruise, Trey? I can't remember. Yeah. So, like in like three weeks, you're gonna have your own dream trip story. <laughs> Let's see which one that one is. Yeah, 7, 14, 15, yeah, in like 15 days, you have your own dream trip story. Whew, man, I'm out of breath. It's cold as kicking my butt. That's it. Come on, guys. Okay, so like I said before, um, the biggest thing is um, it doesn't matter how you present. If you present, I like the quad full because I like to look them in the eye and talking to them and seeing what, what floats their boat. Because of some of the extra things you can think of, like um, in the example of the person I was talking to, I was talking to obviously talking about Diego because he is a barber. And when he said, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life, um, I say, you know, seven to ten years. When I talk about the money part of it, I see seven to ten years. Where are you going to be? Are you still going to be cutting hair? And I drop little things like, look, I'll be perfectly honest with you, as much money as I was making in the construction, um, it was not going to make me wealthy. It was going to pay my bills. And if I was super lucky, after 10 or 15 years, I might, might, might have fifty to $60,000 in the bank. And that's not, a love, that's not enough for my family to live for one year. And then they start going, holy crap, yeah, you're right. And I'll say with this, my income is absolutely, um, my income is unlimited. Uh, Curtis says, did you scan these slides? Or, oh, man, yeah, I took my quad fold and stuck them inside my, uh, if you guys want them, I'll put them in the group. I just, I put them in my computer scanner and scan them in as a, as a JPEG. You may, if I put them in there, you guys will have to probably, uh, you guys will probably have to, um, uh, crop them and, and make them look prettier. <laughs> cool. If you guys don't have any questions, uh, any more questions, we can hang out and see. You want? Yeah, I wanted to create a video presentation. You know, I thought about doing that, Curtis. Uh, Curtis said you wanted to create a video pre presentation using these. I thought about doing that as well. Um, it's just so long. My gosh, you know, even my even my best one is thirty minutes long, which is it's. When you're in it and you're listening, it's not so bad because it's so much information and it's coming so fast. You're like, holy crap, I just need to hear. I need to stop. I need to pay attention. So like, there's so much information coming that it doesn't seem like it's that long until it's over. Um, but when people see a video and they and because they do the same thing that I do, they don't want, they want to know how long it is before they watch it. So when they see it's 30 minutes, you know, I don't know. I mean, you can. You do whatever you want, obviously. It's just hard to make it shorter. I am a jibber jaw though. <laughs> cool. Anybody else? Eleven thousand trips. And if you guys notice, I didn't come back to this when I gave him the option. This was not an option. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, doing it live via Google Hangout for long distance, that's a, that's a good idea, Curtis. I just do gold or platinum. Cool. All right, awesome. Um, I don't want to keep you guys on all night. I think we did pretty good tonight. I had a nice showing. 
You're welcome, buddy. Awesome. Um, oh, Archulovich was on here for a little bit. Oh, there he is. He's still here. He got moved down to the bottom. It's all alphabetical. <laughs> cool. All right. So does anybody else have any questions? We'll give another 20 or 30 seconds here. I'm going to go through real quick and just kind of take a peek at what I have and then make sure I'm not forgetting anything. And it's not so crazy sloppy um, when I'm doing it with my pen. <laughs> it's not so insane looking. Yeah, I got it all. Cool. All right. So we are out. <laughs> cool. All right. Appreciate you guys. Um, you know, if you feel like posting something somewhere and saying thanks or whatever, that would be awesome. Um, if not, no big deal. Um, but this is how I've been doing every single one of my quad folds. Uh, I love the quad fold to pieces. I think it's amazing. Um, it's so easy to use, and I have tons of them. Oh, Chrissy's driving. Oh, yeah, don't, don't, don't crash. Um, I love the quad fold because you can keep them in your pocket. I've got a ton of them in my car. I've got them all over my house. I, pretty much anywhere I am, I've got them somewhere. Uh, so you can always pull them out, and if they're, um, if you don't have an app on you, which I highly recommend keeping apps printed out in your car wherever you are. So when you do have an app, or when you do do a presentation, that app has to be like a quick draw or draw, man, and bring out that app and slide it over to them, and uh, give them the option of which one they're going to do, not if they're going to do or how they feel or how they think. It's uh, which one, gold, platinum. Great. You're going to do that one with or without the business center. Completely up to you. So, sweet. You guys rock. Love you all. And um, I will, uh, I don't know how long it typically takes for this recording to be up, um, but I'm going to kick this thing off. And uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me to the end here. So, love you guys. Hello. Well, welcome. <laughs>